all out of the rest. Horrible water. Still, let's start by talking about you. In the six years that you've been Chief Minister of Gujarat, the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation has declared Gujarat to be the best administered state. India today, on two separate occasions, has declared that you are the most efficient Chief Minister. And yet, despite that, people still call you to your face a mass murderer, and they accuse you of being prejudiced against Muslims. Do you have an image problem? I think it's not uh, proper to say that people. There are two or three persons, those who used to uh, talk in this terminology. And I always say, God bless them. You're saying this is a conspiracy of two, three people only? I have not said so. But you're saying it's only two, three people? This is what I have information. It's not the people's voice. Can I point out to you that in September 2003, the Supreme Court said they had lost faith in the Gujarat government. In April 2004, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in open court said that you were like a modern-day Nero who looks the other side when helpless children and innocent women are burnt. The Supreme Court seems to have a problem with you. Current, I have a small request. Please go to the Supreme Court judgment. And is there anything in writing I'll be happy to know everything. It wasn't in writing. You're absolutely right. It if was it an is observation. In it is an observation. If it is in judgment, then I'm. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to give you the answer. But you mean a criticism in court by the Chief Justice doesn't matter? This is my simple request to you. Please go to the court judgment, find out the sentence which you are quoting, and I will be happy that if the people of the Gujarat, uh, India should know it. Okay. It wasn't just open comment made by the Chief Justice. In August 2004, the Supreme Court reopened over 2,100 cases out of a total of around 4,600, almost 40 percent. And they did so because they believed justice hadn't happened in Modi's Gujarat. I'll be happy. And I'm happy because of this judgment. Because ultimately, the court of law will take the decision. I'll tell you what the problem is. Even five years after the Gujarat killings of 2002, the ghost of Godhra still haunts you. Why have you not done more to allay that ghost? This I gave it to the media persons like Karan Thapar. Let them do and let them enjoy. Can I suggest something to you? I have no problem. Why can't you say? that you regret the killings that happened? Why can't you say that what? maybe the government should have done more to protect the Muslims? What I have to say, I have said at that time. And you can find out the, my statements. Just say it again? Not necessary. I have to talk about the in 2007, everything, what you want to talk. But by not saying it again, by not letting people hear the message repeatedly, you are allowing an image that is contrary to the interest of Gujarat to continue. It's in your hands to change it. Oh, I'll have to rest. You came here, I'm happy, I'm thankful to you. I can't help this. It's okay. Your, your things are, your uh, ideas are, you can tell me. You can tell me. Your three, four questions are already enjoyed. So I can't. Dr. Pratt Modi sir. Please. Modi sir. I'm not talking about doing anything wrong. I'm saying, why can't you correct the image? Look, this is not the time. Okay, then one second. And below the subscribe button, hit it.